Hello, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury Three with another FP VOD stream for you guys. Once again, I am playing against this time Anarchid, though we might do two v two later. But yeah, right now, Anarchid. Me versus Anarchid, and we're also gonna be playing on the latest engine because that needs testing, and the fog of war on that looks so much better than it does in the in the current stable engine or engine ninety one, which we're typically been using for the last several years. So we are going to be using that. Well, give me the test engine, not 91. But otherwise, just typical. So we're going to be on icy shell. Oh right, I got to. Okay, first I got to. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. One, got to get my widgets right. It was on my spectator view. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, this map shown before, Icy Shell, pretty good corner starts, not great on the, oops. not great on the middle start, but that's not really what you'd go for normally. Okay, the game is starting, and I'm against Anarchid. So Anarchid, very good player, and that's the fancy new field Fog of War effect. Looks very nice. I look, darn it, my settings are messed up. I'm not quite sure what the colors are supposed to be. Unfortunately, Spring does this stupid thing where it has... What it does is it has your Fog of War as a, a color which is then added onto something. I don't know what. And then it adds that as the color for whatever's in the line of sight on top of that. So this is what it looks like without Fog of War on. And this is what it looks like with Fog of War on. It shouldn't do that. It should be... Everything in line of sight should always, always, always look the same. It should never be different. It should look like if you had the ability to turn Fog of War off, that's how it should look. Always. Oops. And there's just no reason for it to be any other way. So I don't know. That's the one thing about Spring Engine I've always disliked. It's the way that's handled. Anyway, so I'm just looking for Anarchid, trying to figure out where they are. Also, what they are playing. It looks like they are over on the east side of the map. Yep, they are indeed. And there's a defender, and they're going for Cloakie as well. Oops. Not in focus on six. They're also going for Cloakie. And get this going. Build up a few more metal extractors. You, I want you to build radar, which I just realized I can actually do a bit better than you're going to see. You're going to see some pretty bad radar in a sec. A pretty poor effect that will, that I can change, but it's kind of hard to change it while the game is ongoing. It's not going to look great. If I don't change it this game, I'll change it for the next game, and it'll look a lot better then. And, of course, there's Anakin's Commander, which I can't do anything about, and probably has a ride cannon or something. Yep, it has a ride cannon. All right, I'm forced back. And, no, actually, it does. It does do the edge radar. Cool, all right. So, let's just... Ah. Okay, so, of course, Glaives don't want to have those fight the Commander directly. That would be a very bad, bad idea. On infinite. So I'm gonna to want to switch over to Rocket Warrior, and then go for the harassment because. I don't know. Anyway, go for the harassment option and also get a bit more energy. Yeah, I realize I'm having a hard time paying attention while trying to work out exactly what to do about this whole thing. Oh, get out of there! Get out! Continue to harass. I know there are warriors there. I know there's the commander there. And there's something else as well that's been built from the looks of it. Oh, a defender. Of course. Ah, great. So Anakin's going for a defender nest attack. And I need to move forward over here. And then these players go down here. These other players go north. Darn it. Of course they would. It's actually kind of funny. I can't find anything that Anarchid's done that I can easily tear apart. That was also unexpected. Normally, you're not supposed to be able to win like that, but apparently I was. And you guys go into one. Let's see if I can find anything around here, but it looks like we're not going to have any luck. 
Looks like Anarchid's not building in any way that's really obvious, which is a pain in the butt when that happens, but it happens. Actually, you go over... oh. Oh, wait, no. You... wow, oh, you almost got a good shot. Anyway, it's not showing me where the defender is, because I don't know where it is, but... Good to know there's a defender there. And you... You go off here, you guys stay here. So you go up between the two of them. Darn it! Anyway, that's going to be destroyed by the laser turret. Uh, not before killing everything else. Where's my commander? No, oh, there's my commander. Uh, getting stuck on their own power structures. Come on, commander. Step it up. Right, let's move in here and... Wait, no. You're supposed to move in with... The, oh, shoot. All right, well, I guess I have to switch to hammers because what other choice do I have? Yeah, this isn't going very well at all. <sighs> Anarchy's a much better player than I am, and I'm not doing anything right. I'm, as I typically do, trying to win by type counters more than anything else, and that's not working. Or it would, of course, the fact that type counters for Pokeball Factor needs to be in position to work, and... Oh, of course, what am I thinking? Anakin always does that. There's not any more flaves. <sighs> oh, yeah, now I need you to actually push in this as well. And some of you to build those, and... Oh! Thankfully, that gremlin is smoking. So I know exactly where it is. Kill it in one shot. Oh, there we go. Finally, Anarchy can stop spying on my base and knowing exactly what I'm doing. So I can build that up as well. Put a nice little defense there. And actually double check that the center isn't taken. And the center is taken because the center is actually a 5 value max. Which is a bit of a big deal. And unfortunately, I can't. Well, I can't get rid of the max. I can't really get rid of much else. And good commander still at level one. And the warrior is actually going to not do that much damage. Yeah, I should probably move it out of the way. Now it's dead. Shoot. This is not going well. Okay, you guys go on one. I want you to try to go around the side. You guys are on two. You're on three. Oh, of course. Anarchist is a pain in the butt to fight against because he always uses cloaked units and I can never... F you can't see them coming. I mean, you can screen for them, but frankly, I, I'm... My factory is kind of busy doing a bunch of other stuff. Like getting units to try to attack with. Trying to get units to screen with at the same time is not really going to happen. Well, some around here. What? No. Just you two. You, I want to have attack this. You're on floor two is already in use. Yeah, they're not going to find the scythe. I don't know why I'm looking with them. Also, wait, why am I doing the same thing? Oh, man, I'm sort of such an idiot. I should be doing the same thing. Yeah, this this is game. I don't see the point of even continuing at this point. Or maybe there's some point. I don't know. Doesn't seem likely because I... What, what are you doing here? Yeah, I, I don't... I can't concentrate. This this line of sight thing is pissing me off too much. I can't... I can't concentrate. I gotta... I have to fix it. Where is it? Heck. See, I just don't get what color it's trying to go to. Like, I know there's some color that it'll work for. But I don't know what that is. And it's really annoying me. Like, I thought it was supposed to total, like, 0.5 or something, and apparently it's supposed to total 0.4. I, I don't know. That's not quite it, but it's closer. 
Oh, of course, I want the darker fog. Yeah. Need to keep my Sorry, I, I realize this isn't the most interesting thing to do. Oh, what? No, it's still too bright. Is this even by is this even by per map thing? Like, can I even make this a global setting? Because this is a pain in the butt and has been forever. Like, one of the perennial things I found very annoying about the spring engine is trying to find a line of sight setting where everything, when it's in line of sight, looks. This is line of sight off. Everything in line of sight should look identical when line of sight is on. And when I'm actually hiding things because of the way the fog of war is. And I've been trying to set it to that, but it's really hard to figure out what it's supposed to be. That's close enough. Still not quite right though, but it's close. And then radar can be its thing. Well, I kind of like it was semi-dim. There. Uh... There we go, because I have a really low little area, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know, I have to, you have to do that in order for it to work. Yeah, that works okay. Alright, so this, this is suitable, at least on this map, if, if I'm wrong, then it has to be adjusted for every map. Which would be a real pain, just something the engine shouldn't do. Like, really, this, this whole line of sight thing is just not done right. Anyway, moving on, let's try another game. We're probably going to do a 2v2, actually, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully it'll be more interesting than the 1v1 where I just get completely bodied by Anarchid because Anarchid does that, and I forgot, totally forgot about the fact that Anarchid loves throwing Kulik units into my base, and I should have done the same thing to the Anarchid because... because that's a good thing to do. That's, that's what you do. When you're playing in that situation, you want to do that. You're playing Cloaky, that's what you do. You throw gremlins in your opponent's base. Welcome back, 0K fans. Once again, Shadow 53 here with another match against Anarchid, which is probably not going to go especially well, but we'll see. It's going to be on Tartarus. And, well, as a result, it's going to be kind of tricky, but let's see what I can pull off, if I can pull off anything of note. I have nearly beaten Anarchid once. Not on stream, but I have nearly beaten Anarchid. It's not impossible. It's hard. It's not impossible. Oh, come on. No. Man, you're silly. Oops. I want to start with the crab. I want to start with fleas. And then venom redback. Okay, you guys go over here. Like so. Except you two go here. And so I want to know what's going on in these corners, and this weaver is going to... Immediately go to the corners. I think I can get away with doing that before getting a Lotus up. Defender and all that stuff. A radar tower should be built in the main base. You, what are you doing? And then build radar. And then go forward and build defensive turrets. I don't know, something, anything. Okay, so I do see what's going on in Anarchid's base. Anarchid is, of course, going for Cloaky Bot Factors. So I've got to be careful, which is why I wanted to keep Fleas on here, because then at least I could spot out any gremlins that come in, or, you know, look around the base, just patrol for them, try to screen for them as best I can. It's actually a lot harder than I thought it was, quite honestly. Build this first, too, just in case. Okay, so at this point we know that there's nothing over in the northeast and northwest. Go a bit further down since I kind of know where it is. Oh! Shoot, there is a glaive actually. Just missed my weaver though, so it doesn't know that the weaver is there. I'm sure it's assumed. I'm, I'm sure that, that Anarchid's going, oh yeah, there's a weaver. There is definitely a weaver up there. But it's not known. And that's my only con. That's my only solace at this point, is that it's not a known thing. And of course, switching over to Rocco, as one does. I should probably grab a few more recluses and fewer redbacks. 
Oh, shoot, that's a lot of glaives. It's kind of possible to deal with here, but okay, there we go. Deal with those glaives. Okay, so that's the new radar. That's not what I was thinking of with the radar. What was happening before was more of an area thing, which I'm not really going to bother demonstrating. And Yeah, seriously, this map... Well, okay, that's actually about the same as before. So it looks like line of sight stuff doesn't change on a per-map basis, but it is different between Engine 91 and Engine 98. So I'm going to have to put that in the widget. I have I have that widget set up to do what it, well, what I showed it was doing, which was to have it actually work such that it wasn't going to be doing this weird different color between no line of sight on and line of sight on, which it should not do. Okay, so you guys, I want you just patrolling. And you as well, just patrol around in circles. Just run in circles until you... Oops. Oh, darn it. Great, well that was a bad gamble failed. That probably cost me the game, too. Especially since my commander is not doing anything! Sheesh, Mr. Moron. Okay. Let's try to actually pay attention to what's going on. Get you guys back here, because I don't want to deal with that Rocco, which is why I'm building recluses. So I want the recluse because I can't actually deal with Rocco that easily with anything else. The fleas sort of can, but there are glaives in the way, so that's a problem. Really, the best thing I want to do is I want to stop the glaives with the with the venoms and use reckless to stop everything else. And there we go. There's the gremlin. I was looking for that. Finally found it. No, kill it. What are you waiting for? There we go. Found Anarchid's gremlin. Well, Anarchid's first gremlin. There will be, be sites afterwards, so I'll keep screening. Okay, this is where... So you guys go south. Recluse stays north, deals with the Rockos. Everything else goes south, deals with the Glaives. And why don't I have more re Weavers? I need more Weavers. Get in the way. Deal with those Glaives before it's too late. It's too late! No! Why must everything be out of position? Uh, it's like, of course I'm going to do with Spiders in this map, because you have the side things. I haven't even taken advantage of those yet. Or very briefly I took advantage of those. Actually, it's probably safer to go over here, but yeah, now it's like I have a bunch of slow units that I can't do anything with. Because they take too long to get anywhere. Uh, no way of rebuilding anything. Yeah, this, this game's over. Fighting Anarchy is really disheartening. He's very good at psychological tactics that just make you completely unsure of your ability to play at all. It becomes rather difficult to actually do anything because it feels like everything you do has already been accounted for and he's already just got everything. He already just has all the army he ever needs from minute one. They ever need. From minute one. And just That's what it feels like playing as Anarchid. Even though I know exactly what they're building. I, I see it, although I haven't been looking at it because I've been trying to do stuff that's entertaining. Like, trying to look at the stuff that's more interesting what's going on on the screen, but yeah, it's like... It's really hard to get anything here. And with a bit more radar, I do know that there is some stuff... Oh, great. Build... Yeah, build some defenses first, and then... Build economy. Even though, frankly, I do feel safer in the lower side. Oh yeah, and take this out too. Take the defenses out. Go for an assault. Semi-expensive assault, but at least the Glaze can't stop me. The Rokos will try, but the Glaze can't do anything about it. Actually, this is a pretty powerful assault. Yeah, like I said, Anarchy's good with psychological tactics. It's good in the game as well, but particularly psychological tactics. So if you just if you work around that, don't get too messed up by it. Also, get fleas so you can see exactly what's going on beforehand. But yeah, don't get too thrown off by the psychological tactics. Then it's possible to do stuff about it. Although, yeah, in this case, Anarchist Commander is going over here, and that's going to be a bit of a pain. But at least I took out some of the metal extractors. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, though. I kind of doubt it. Like, I'm, I'm honestly doubtful that's going to matter. At, what am I doing? And then build that. There's a lot of stuff you can reclaim. 
Actually, better still, build energy. Get more metal stretches down. Oh, my, it's actually working out pretty well. Although this red back's gonna die. Darn it. Okay, well the venom can at least do stuff. Sort of. Maybe. No, not really. Oh well, some damage was dealt at least. I don't know if it's much. Of course, I need more weavers. Where are my weavers? I, don't... I have one weaver. Okay, I do have a weaver. Build me some wind generators. Build me, build me a field of wind generators. I need that. And you guys just look for. You guys look for cloaked units. This is Anarchid. They're bound to be around here somewhere. And of course, now I've lost my entire army. That's just perfect. What are you doing? Oh, quit reclaiming. Caretakers first. Then reclaim. And actually put a couple lotuses down as well in case something... If something tries to attack the caretakers, like a scythe, you still have some knowledge in advance of it happening. Oh, whoops. You guys are all still alive. And it looks like there's some glaze coming down here, which I need to deal with. And also looks like I've lost the sides. Which is bad. The entire point of me playing spiders was that I would take these sides. That was, that was it. That was the entire reason, that, that's the whole reason you play as spiders. Oh, great. Actually, that's okay, because not playing... What the heck? That's not as bad as it looks, because I'm not actually playing with crabs yet. So yeah, that was a sharpshooter that went off. I don't, I don't want to deal with that, but that is a sharpshooter, so I can at least deal with it in sense. Oh, man, this is not going well at all. Yeah, unfortunately, Rocco kind of counters the entire factory. I don't have the resources to do a fact switch efficiently right now. I have to stop building spiders, and I can't really afford to do that at this point. Ah, phew. My redback survived. Kill the factory, maybe? That would be a good idea. Kill the factory, take out that bomber. It looks like that's the first bomber, because nothing is trying to save the factory. So it looks like I just caught it in time. And the factory is down! Okay, good, at least I stopped that. That would have been pretty devastating. And that would have been bombers on top of everything else that I would have had to deal with. So at least I managed to stop that. Although admittedly it was just that, I can't... I still can't stop that stupid thing. Okay, where is it? Try to screen out for it. And get rid of the sharpshooter would work nicely. Where are my... More weavers, more venoms. I mean, I know where they're being used, but it's just I don't know what else to put. I guess I could switch over to hermits. Rather than recluses? I don't know. Reduce the number of venoms? I mean, I need to know what's going on with my fleas. Kind of what they're for, but there's probably something over here. There's probably something that I have to deal with over on the other side. Ah, of course, more Rockos. Which, like I said, counter the spider factory, which is a pain in the butt to deal with. Because it means that I have to work out when the best time to fax switch is, because I basically can't use spiders. Oh wait, you're here. I guess I'll fax switch to air myself. I don't know what else I can really do. I haven't seen anything around here, so as far as I know, there's nothing going on. Anarchy's not planning anything, but frankly, I have no idea. And also, I have no real way of dealing with this. Rocco's there, I can't really deal with. I might be able to, I don't know how. Like, recluses are kind of a way of doing it. Hermits can sort of work because they can tank the shots, but otherwise, otherwise, that's kind of it. There's not really much I can do. So, Weaver. Another Weaver over there, and oh, come on. Oh, wait, that's, that's an air, oh, shoot. Well, I better build Swifts then. 
Not gonna be able to get any bombers up, but I can get swifts out at least. They'll be of some use. Sort of. Prioritize this. Put that in high priority. I need to make sure that it's not gonna get cut out. Actually, already there's ravens! Man, you think I can't play this game? I probably did something really terribly key wrong. I mean, other than the fact that I didn't defend the north, the southeast side when I went for it in the first place. But yeah, I just... I don't know. I don't know spiders very well, I guess. Not sure what's next up. It's gonna be me once again being bodied by Anarchid. Or what. People wanted to do a 2v2 earlier, but I don't know what's going on with that. It doesn't look like that's gonna actually happen, so... Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, that's this is game because frankly, there's just no way I can win. It's really discouraging. I have gotten close to beating Anarchid. I just not now, today at all. Oh well. Anyway, I don't know if we'll have another game in a moment, so stay tuned anyway.